In today's video, I'm going to teach you everything that you need to do to boost your FPS in 2023, and this will work for Valorant, Apex Legends, Fortnite, Roblox, Minecraft, and whatever other game you play. So we're going to start off by creating a restore point. You're going to open this up on your search bar, click this, and then find the create button at the bottom. Open this up and type in whatever you want. I'm just going to type in uh, subscribe right here, and then after that just click create. This will make a restore point for you. So you can see here the restore point was created successfully. So at any time if you don't like what happened to the changes, you can literally just click system restore right here and restore your PC to before the optimization process started. So for our Valorant settings, we are going to make sure our display mode is on full screen, not windowed full screen or windowed. And then we are going to turn our resolution all the way down to the lowest res of 1D24 by 768. This will make it so that your graphics card has less pixels to process and will make your FPS slightly better after that. If you do have the option, turn NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency to On or On Plus Boost if available. So go to your graphics quality settings and make sure multi-threaded rendering is set to On. And then material quality we're going to set to Low, our texture quality we're going to set to Low. Our detail quality will be set to Low, our UI quality will be Low, Vignette will be off and VSync off as well. This can be good if you don't really get that many FPS and you have a higher hertz monitor, you can turn this on. It will cause input delay though. Anti-aliasing. We turn to non-anti-static filtering 1x improve clarity of experimental sharpening off for Bloom. If you want your game to be more visually appealing, have this on. But if you want FPS, turn this off. After that, we're going to open up our task manager from our search bar. Open this up and find the details tab. From here, you're going to want to scroll down until you see Valorant Win 64 shipping and Valorant. From here, right click on them. You'll set priority to high change priority and then do that to Valorant EXE as well. Once you've done that, we're going to go to the startup tab and we're going to disable all of these options so that none of these are running when our PC starts up to cause any sort of CPU usage in the background. Obviously, you're going to keep Vanguard on, but other than that, you basically can disable everything else. After that, go back to your search bar and type in notifications. You're going to open this tab and turn off all your notifications. These can pop up in the background and cause your PC to lag. Right after that, you're going to go back to our search bar and type in background apps. We're going to open up this tab right here, and we are going to either manually turn off all of these apps running in the background, or you can just click the top button right here and turn it. So, none of these apps are running in the background using up your CPU usage at all. Next, we're going to type in graphics settings into our search bar. Open this tab up and turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. You're going to need to restart your PC to apply these changes, but we'll work on that after. After that, click browse and go to your local disk with Valorant on it. Go to the Riot Games folder, then go to Valorant Live and then find Valorant. EXE add this right here and then go to the options. You're going to select this and change it to high performance right here and then click browse again. Go to the Riot Games folder, then go to Riot Client and find Riot Client Services. From here click options again and then select this and switch it to high performance. And then click save. Then we're going to type in choose a power plant into our search bar. Open this tab up and you're going to change your power plant to high performance instead of balanced or U1 power saver. This will use more energy but of course it'll make your PC run better. Then go to your settings on your windows again and then find the gaming tab right here. From here, we're going to turn off our Xbox game bar. This is to clip things, but we don't really want this as it takes a lot of unwanted performance out of your CPU. Then we're going to search again for advanced system settings and open this tab up. From here, click on your settings under the performance tab. From here, just switch it to adjust for best performance. This will make your windows look a little different, but it's better for performance, so I suggest doing this. Then we're going to open our search bar again and type in run. Then type in percentage temp percentage and click OK. This will open up a bunch of temporary files that your computer is using up on your storage. So once you're on this page, literally just drag and click delete on it. 
there's going to be some that you can't delete. So you just click skip on this and you'll see it'll delete tons on tons of temporary files that you don't need. Next we're going to type in this PC and open this up. Find your drive with your windows on it. Right click on it and click properties. From here we're going to do a disk cleanup. We're going to open this tab and you'll see a bunch of different things. You can check all of them. Once you've checked all of them just click clean up system files. It'll take a little bit but once it's done it'll take a lot of storage that is unwanted off of your drive. Once you've done this, go to the tools tab and check your drive. If there's any issues, it'll scan it and check it out. It'll take a little bit depending on what type of SSD or hard drive you have. So once your drive is done scanning, click close and then click the optimize tab. From here, we're going to optimize whatever tab we have our windows on. So just click the optimize button and it'll retrim it. It'll take a bit depending on your SSD and then you can optimize the other one as well if you'd like. Next we are going to open up GeForce Experience. And once you get this open go to the drivers tab and check to see if there's a new driver update for your graphics card. For me I do not have one if you have one just download it. So next we're going to right click on our desktop and open our Nvidia control panel. From here we're going to go to manage 3D settings and we're going to see a bunch of settings right here and we're going to change them up. First we're going to turn image scaling to on and we're going to set this to about 50%. Click OK and ambient occlusion will have turned off anti-filtering we're going to turn this off. Uh, if anti-aliasing will be off as well. We are going to set to off background application max frame rate set to off CUDA GPOS set this to all. Set your DSR factors to off. Change your low latency mode to ultra to reduce input delay. Max frame rate. Turn this off multi-frame sample R. Uh, we're going to set to off OpenGL GDI compatibility. We are going to set to auto OpenGL rendering GPU. We are going to set this to our graphics card. And then for power management mode, go ahead and switch this to maximum performance. And then we are going to change our preferred refresh rate to the highest available. And then we are going to change our shader cache size to unlimited. Two is and then our texture filtering where we're going to turn to off texture filtering negative. Then go to configure surround physics settings and select it and put it on your graphics card. So we can take some strain from your CPU. As the Instalock jet walked across a main, she heard the cipher closing his cam. She asked, do you have infinite trip wires because you are the most broken sentinel? Or are you the most broken sentinel because you have infinite tripwires? The cipher simply replied, Throughout the heavens and the earth, I alone am the best sentinel. Unbeknownst to the cipher, the jet was five stacking with her smurf friends. In that moment, the jet thought that she would destroy cipher's setup. However, she did not know two key things. One, that cipher's trips are restored after trapping someone. And two, this cipher knows one ways. The jet began to unleash her updraft dash combo, but she got caught in Cypher's tripwire. It is at this moment that Cypher said, Stand proud, you are strong, before completely destroying her. The Radiant KO began to use his ult and asked, Cypher, would you hold? Cypher said, Nah, I'd win.